Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy DJ Soul Force. Today we're going to take a close-up look and do a flight review and a quick test of the uh, brand new Hubson H123. Uh, this one's called the Jet. You guys may remember this one I reviewed on my channel about six months ago. This is the uh, Hubson H122. So basically, the 123 is an upgraded version of the 122. Based upon the reviews and the uh, number of views I got on my channel for this bird, the 122, uh, not too many of you guys were interested in this. The feedback I got on the 122 was, I uh, would get it if it has brushless motors. So apparently Hubson has been listening to the complaints of the customers and the 123 now has brushless motors. Uh, it's got a 720p camera. Looks like an upgraded camera from the original one. The lens is bigger, I think. <laughs> well, let's just say the uh, the lens looks bigger. Some of the other complaints from this bird was uh, that the battery shifted around during flight. I, I never had any problems with my battery moving around, guys. If you secure that strap tight enough, that battery stays in place. Another complaint was the 122 had its sort of semi-proprietary props uh, with that single screw that appeared to be screw-on props, but uh, that screw actually w just went into a metal collar that fit on the shaft of the bird. If you crash this bird, uh, it's possible a prop can come flying off along with the screw in the collar. So the, the screw there was kind of bogus. <laughs> uh, the 123 Hubson has upgraded the props. And I haven't tried other props yet, but looks like these are uh, your standard uh, two screw mounted props that screw right into the motor. So that's, that's a, uh, a plus. Uh, these props won't come flying off. They'll probably break before they come flying off, guys. The 123 came with the uh, new upgraded transmitter, guys. Uh, this is the Hubson HT012. You remember the, the Storm came with a little small game style controller. This one has a built-in uh, FPV monitor. It has dual rates. This left toggle switch is to change from low speed to high speed. And this right toggle switch, uh, according to Hubson, is sport mode zero, sport mode one, and sport mode two. Now, <laughs> there was no explanation in the manual as to what those sport, sport modes are supposed to do, guys. Uh, some of the stores have it listed as acro mode and the complaints are already rolling in on this guy that it's not real acro it's not acro at all i have taken it out to the field guys and i tested those modes <laughs> what i found was uh sport mode zero is uh just your normal stabilized mode if you switch it to sport mode one it decreases the stabilization slightly, but not enough for you to do f manual flips with it. If you try to flip it and let go of the sticks, uh, it will quickly stabilize itself. In sport mode 2, it's not real acro. Um, I, I would uh, say it's equivalent to the uh, quote-unquote acro mode that MGX put in the uh, Bugs 3 Mini. Remember, a lot of guys was complaining that that was not real acro. Well, guys, you got that right here as well. It's not real acro. There's still a substantial amount of stabilization. <laughs> as you're going to see in the video coming up shortly, guys, uh, I put this thing in the air in sport mode 2, and I was in the high rate and tried to flip it. And the bird did sort of a semi-flip. <laughs> But it would not go all the way over, uh, or it would not recover from the flip. It did a, a slow motion flip. I felt like I needed to to take it up another 100 feet or so for it to complete that flip, or if it would ever complete it. <laughs> but guys, uh, I like it. It's fast, it's agile, it's very stable. Uh, as long as you're flying it in that sport mode zero, you, you, you have yourself here a nice beginner. 
uh, FPV racer with a 720p camera, which by the way, that camera lens is tilt adjustable. Hubson has upgraded the battery. Uh, this one's got a 980 milliamp battery. It's 7.6 volt high output battery. It fits in there pretty snug, so there's no moving around with that battery, guys. So like I said, it looks like Hubson was trying to address some of the complaints of the customers. Uh, it's got a pretty bright headlight on it, guys. There's also two red LEDs in the back. Th those are your flight indicator. This remote controller, in my honest opinion, is overkill for this bird. Uh, it is available without the remote controller. A bind and fly version, I believe Gearbest has it for a little over 100 bucks. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm flying a racer FPV, uh, especially a micro racer the size of this, you definitely want to wear a set of goggles because uh, it's quite difficult to fly FPV while looking down at the screen and keeping an eye on your bird at the same time, guys. Uh, it does have a DVR. It has a built-in DVR. The micro SD card slot is right here. On the left, uh, facing the quad on the left side by the front left arm, that's a micro SD card in there, guys. So you can start and stop your video from the remote controller, and it also takes photos. Not too much else to say about it, guys. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there were pre release models of this, and uh, some guys were complaining it has really short flight time. Uh, Hubson is promising a 10 minute flight time. Uh, most of the reviewers are averaging around 6 or 7 minutes of flight time. So mine came with an extra battery in it. Uh, of course it comes with a full set of props. And here's the sunshade for the FPV monitor guys. It's fast. It's very fast. I like it. I like it. I took it out to the field. I flew it with my goggles on and I had a blast with it. Uh, in my opinion, it wasn't so much fun flying it with the stock transmitter. You guys may recognize this transmitter. This is a uh, upgrade version to the standard transmitter that came with the Hubson H501S. Remember, this is the transmitter where lots of guys were doing antenna modifications. So again, Hubson listened to their customers. They addressed the complaints and they went ahead and put the antennas on the outside of the transmitter. So you no longer have to do this antenna mod. You got your 5.8 gigahertz flat panel antenna here and your 2.4 gigahertz control uh, omnidirectional antenna here, guys. Let's take it out to the field and do some flying with it. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, it's got a JST connector that plugs in right on top of the quad. Before we take off, let's go ahead and start that video. I'm just going to take it up in sport mode zero, which should be just normal uh, stabilized mode. And a lot of guys have complained that uh, the other two sport modes don't really do anything. It should be, or they were expecting acro, and it's not really acro. It's just two more levels of stabilization, uh, semi-stabilized and... Uh, and then a lesser version of semi-stabilized, but they're all stabilized, but I'm not a big fan of this transmitter and it's totally plastic case. So right after this flight, guys, I'm going to try to bind it to my jumper. But let's take a look at the punch out. <laughs> wow. She's at least five times faster than the storm. Let's bring it in closer. She's a little bird. It's going to be hard to see this one, guys. But there's the pitch angle. We're still in a slow speed. <laughs> She's fast. There's the yaw rate. In the slow speed, let's bring it in closer. 
switch it to the higher speed. Okay, we're in the higher speed now. Whoa, yeah, the yard ray picks up in the higher speed. So does the punch. <laughs> She's a little screamer. Whoa. Man, less than a second, she was over 100 feet. Man, look at that pitch angle. In the high speed, Eric. That pitch angle. Whoa. <laughs> now, I'm not sure what Hubson was thinking about with uh, FPV or using this this controller with this bird because nobody flies FPV with their head down looking at a monitor. Yeah, one does. <laughs> what do they call them? Often fly or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice bird though. I like this. Of course I would. Uh, I was a fan of the Storm. But look at, watch this pitch angle. Whoa. That was with no throttle. That was just right stick. You still got it in sport mode zero? No, it's, oh, well, yeah, sport mode zero. Yeah, sport mode one. I'm in the uh, high speed. Okay, let's switch it to sport mode one, which is supposed to reduce the stability, but I've seen reviews where it won't flip. That's sport mode one. It won't flip. <laughs> She's a little sportier, I guess, but uh, okay, let's bring it in closer to us. Oh, okay, I do feel a little difference in the uh, when I give it forward pitch and let go of the sticks. You saw that she was still pitching forward on her own, pitch forward, let go of the stick, and she's still pitching. Bring your ass back over here. <laughs> it did reduce the stabilization. But it won't flip. Now, okay, we're in sport mode two now. I should be able to flip it. And, oh, she flipped. <laughs> she flipped. She flipped in slow motion. <laughs> Oh, she flipped, but she wouldn't recover. <laughs> she flipped. Now I see what the guys are complaining about. I think to be on the safe side, guys, you just want to <laughs> keep this thing in in angle mode. Uh, she flipped, but she wouldn't unflip. <laughs> Let's see how tough she is. She's beeping. That's the location beeper. We are still recording. <laughs> Bless her heart. She tried. She flipped. But I guess I wasn't high enough because it was such a slow flip that. <laughs> and I, I gave her some right stick to try to correct it manually. She's big. I might be in a low battery. But let's see if she'll start back. Huh? Is it disconnect? No, I'm, I'm still connected. Uh, I think I'm in LVC. I'm going to go back to low speed and sport mode zero. Oh, I don't know what mode she's in now. She's in the retarded mode. <laughs> oh, I got some bent props. I got a spare battery, guys. Uh, it does come with spare props, but I should be able to uh, straighten those props. I got three sets of bed props. <laughs> she flipped, but she wouldn't unflip. <laughs> In other words, she flipped and then... She kept rolling. Yeah, she kept rolling that to a point where I was like, okay, unroll. Uh, or like... She looks much better now. She Let me stop that video. She prop healthy. Wow. You'd like me to unplug it. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and unplug it. 
we got a spare battery. It came with two batteries. Came with a full set of spare props, which you're probably gonna need them. <laughs> um, the HT012 transmitter is all plastic. Uh, it's hot out here today. My hands are sweating. Okay. And uh, I'm not a big fan of this transmitter. So on the next battery, we're gonna try doing some FPV with it, with the uh, with the jumper transmitter. She's a tiny bird. It's essential that you fly a small bird like this, especially at high speeds, with goggles on. Nice to have this FPV monitor here, but truly not necessary. All right, let's stay tuned for the next flight, guys. All right, guys, on this flight, I'm gonna take the uh, 123 out with the jumper. Of course, this one uses the same protocol using the Hubson X4 protocol, press your bind button, transmitter goes into the bind mode, turn on the quad. All right, beep, as soon as you hear that beep, we are bound uh, on my jumper switch. Uh, auxiliary one will turn the headlight on and off not quite sure what auxiliary 2 does auxiliary 3 you can see the uh, LEDs blink we just took a picture and auxiliary 4 starts the video both sticks down and out to arm the motors down and out again to kill them I'm gonna take it out and fly it uh, with some goggles on we're gonna do some FPV <laughs> with my FXT Vipers and my boy Eric here is going to be my spotter let's go ahead and fire that up take a look at that FPV picture there's a fox laying down out in the field right right now guys you can't see him I'm going to go out there and see if I can get a shot of the fox he's about a hundred oh he's getting up he's running away be just my luck that he would leave Okay, you can see, get a little glance at the FPV there. The Vipers are off the chain though, dude. They, they enhance the picture and make that uh, video looks better than what uh, it does with the Hubson transmitter, of course. Let's start recording on the goggles as well. We are recording. Stop the hat cam. Mm -hmm. 